on YouTube. What we're looking at today is um, a kind of a versus match, I guess you could say. And it's going to be Tony Stark versus Shuri. Right now in the MCU, they're like the smartest people in the MCU. As far as, far as it's been established, I think the comments confirm it and um, the movies as well. Like so far in the movies itself, let alone the um, time comics, the smartest people is Tony Stark in the MCU. And then I think the comics for the, the prelude to the Black Panther movie established that Shuri is the smartest person in the MCU. Um, who would win or create the best technology? Uh, well, if Everett Ross's information or quote, line, whatever in the movie for Black Panther to go is he's never seen anything like this before. And being part of, I think he was in the CIA now, and he was an Air Force pilot, which could be a link to the Captain Marvel movie. He may be in that somewhere or another. I don't know. But I think um, Shuri's probably the the better technological person. But Tony Stark isn't that far behind. I mean, in the middle of a desert, he created the prototype to the Iron Man armor in itself from the arc reactor, from something just basic. How how his captors didn't know what he was doing with the cameras they had, I don't know. But, hey, he did it, and it was a badass machine. And then he went on to create um, the Mark II armor and everything that he's doing right now. Um, but Shuri, with the vibranium, she has created some of the best weapons that I've seen in the MCU. Like, and you can tell that they're different because the guns that you see in um, Captain America, the first Avengers, sound very similar to Iron Man's Repulsor Blast. So it comes from, originates from the same area of technology, like, it comes from the Western world, as it were, I guess you could say, like, that kind of thing. Whereas the sounds and the look, which, fair enough, the look could be a, a, a an area-appropriate thing if they went to um, Japan and they had weapons there, they guess, I guess they would look a little bit different if they were originated in Japan, like an Eastern culture. Whereas for um, Black Panther, it's originated in African culture, so they would have spears as opposed to other weapons, the way they're faced. But, like, the sound as well completely different to how Tony Stark's armor sounds and the weapons that they've got. Fair enough, they've still got that kind of either blue or purple hue to it, but that could just be based on energy. I mean, the vibranium makes sense to as to what color it should be, I guess, but our reactor is blue, so weapon shoot blue. It makes sense. Um, but I think that'd be something really, really interesting to see, like, if in Infinity War, when the, everyone comes together, they really have a kind of competition. I think that um, definitely there's going to be some sort of influence from Shuri. Because if you look at the way Iron Man's armor moves in the Infinity War trailer where it's kind of come around his neck. I think what they're going to do is that it's going to come from his arc reactor. I'm kind of holding my chest like you can see my chest. But anyway, it's going to come from the arc reactor and kind of spread around his body in similar fashion to how his um, bleeding edge armor worked in the comics. But I think he's going to use that from Shuri. Because if you look at Black Panther's armor and the Golden Jaguar, it comes from the necklace. So if they incorporate that into his arc reactor, it'll just come from there and just kind of materialize into uh, probably a vibranium type mesh. Which I'm surprised that Tony Stark hasn't incorporated vibranium into his Iron Man suits, considering how useful it is. And Captain America's shield, Ultron's body, Vision's body, a lot. So these indestructible things and Iron Man hasn't used it in his suit. Clearly not the smartest person given that Shuri's using it in his suit and weaving and everything. He could be really powerful. Well, Iron Man could be really powerful. If you take the Black Panther suit and make it more metallic and everything, maybe that's what the new Hulkbuster is going to be made out of in um, Infinity War. And who was in that Hulkbuster um, armor anyway? Is it is it really going to be Bruce Banner? I mean, he's done it before. In the comics, so why can't he do it in the movie? Either way, let me uh, let me there <clears throat> one take only. Let me know what you think in the comment section below in this area over here. I'll leave a description to my previous video. Um, leave a link to the description in my in the description of my previous video. If you could please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, I have a Twitter. Uh, as I said in the last video, I'm gonna get on that. I have a Twitter that is DS. 
Shadow Pyro. I've got this one right. My Instagram is still DS Pyro, as you can see in the last video. Go follow that. You'll see some information on there when I'm posting new videos. Like I said, I'm going to be more consistent with this and get on top of everything. And you guys can start enjoying my videos a bit more. Peace.